A big ratcheting up in America's emotional gun control debate. Families from Newtown joining thousands of other people in a march on Washington demanding change. But will this work? ABC's David Curley was out with the marchers and joins us now from Washington. David, good morning. Good morning to you, Dan. The president has called on Americans to put pressure on lawmakers for change. So braving the cold here in Washington, several thousand tried to send a message through those chilly temperatures. This time we will not step back. They came from all over the country, but 100 of them came from Newtown. Brian Clements' wife, a teacher, survived the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary. Uh, it's really great to, to feel their support, but also to be part of a, a larger movement that's going to help us to decrease gun violence in this country. With the president calling for a ban on assault rifles, high-capacity magazines, and universal background checks, supporters know it will be a tough battle. Yes, we can! Yes, we can! Those on the mall have the support of many police organizations wanting more controls on guns. But the Milwaukee County Sheriff, in a radio message that may have to do more with his budget cuts and deputy layoffs, tells residents there, don't call 911 and wait. Learn how to use a firearm. You can beg for mercy from a violent criminal, hide under the bed, or you can fight back. But are you prepared? My name is Colin Goddard. Nearly six years ago, I met Colin Goddard, a student at Virginia Tech, shot four times, still carrying three bullets, but one of the survivors of the mass shooting which killed 32. Now he's an advocate for gun control, getting a shout out from the vice president as the administration laid out its plans. He was in the classroom. He calls himself one of the lucky seven. And out on the mall, Goddard continued his fight. I'm not here today because of what happened to me. I'm here today because I kept seeing what happened to me happen to so many other people. And feels like he's starting to win. We're close. You know, this is the light at the end of the tunnel is, is emerging. President Obama will be hitting the road in the coming weeks, taking his now very strong message on guns to the people as Congress, Bianna, readies for a very heated debate. That's right. The Senate's scheduled to begin its hearing on gun control this, this Wednesday, clearly an issue that's divided the nation. David, thank you so much.